again, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm coming to you from the back porch of Casa de Tiny and uh, enjoying the nice day we have here in Central South Carolina. Thought I'd take advantage of the nice fall weather. Today, I'm reviewing the new Partagas R and R, and this is the Robusto 5 by 50. There is the density. This cigar honors the, its heritage with Ramon and Ramon. Uh, when back when the legend Ramon Cifuentes oversaw tobacco growing for the brand, it is comprised of a nice looking high priming Cameroon wrapper from the Belita region. Binder is a Dominican leaf, which was also grown by Partagas ag agronomists, and the uh, filler is Nicaraguan Jalapa and Dominican Palato Cubana also grown by a part of his team of agronomists. Uh, this is the Robusto, 5.5 by 50, suggested retail price $7.49. Comes in four sizes, uh, Robusto, Maxim, Grande, 6 by 52, Gigante, 6 by 60, and the Fabuloso, 7 by 54, which would be the most expensive in the, in the line, $8.99. So there you have it. Uh, let's get right to it. The brand new Partagas R and R Robusto. All right, let's get right to it. Give it a little clip. That's a good draw. Has just a touch of firmness. Not a big deal. The first flavors are like a very sweet orange, very deep, with some brown sugar uh, notes, and quite a bit of very sweet, buttery caramel. The butteriness is slight at this point, but the caramel aspects are not. It's a so basically you have a citrus flavor with some brown sugar, but a quite a bit, a lot of caramel sweetness. The pepper is a low-grade black pepper. I almost want to call it a white pepper, but I'm going to stick with a black pepper. It's a very, uh, it's not a very powerful black pepper at about uh, six and a half or seven. But you don't really notice the lack of pepper as much as you notice the amount of sweetness from the caramel and the uh, uh, brown sugary uh, citrus. So that's how it starts, and uh, I would put the uh, the sweet flavors at about a 50-50 split right now. The orange citrus with brown sugar and the carrot, the sweet caramel with some butteriness at about the other 50%, so it's a nice start. Well, I'm about an inch in, maybe a little over. And your main sweet flavor, the orange citrus, it's really not that anymore. It did start that way, but it's now more of a um, sweet cedar. But you know what? It's, it's really overshadowed by the tremendous amount of brown sugar and buttery caramel. That's really your main flavors. The uh, sweet cedar is more of a secondary or even beyond. But you can, you can tell it's there, but it's not. By, by no means the lead flavor. The caramel, which is, has a significant butteriness now, a tremendous amount of sweetness, and brown sugar are the lead flavors. The pepper is, is up a little bit. It's actually on the finish. It's very nice. It's, a, it's, a, it's an average amount, maybe slightly over average amount on the finish. The finish is also a sweet caramel. Very sweet caramel. I don't know. So nice. Cameroon wrappers typically, I found, have a lot of caramel aspects. I hope this one did, and it does. So uh, I would call it uh, medium bodied. It's not overpowering, but uh, significant caramel sweetness. We're pretty much at the midpoint. And the buttery caramel is still going along very nicely. Still medium-bodied, 
a little bit of brown sugar in there. The cedar is almost an afterthought. Very little. You still have overwhelming buttery caramel with a little brown sugar. Finishes the same. It's been a so far a good cigar. Uh, now again, not overpowering by any means, but uh, you don't always want a cigar like that. You like uh, you like different ones. If you're like me, this is very sweet. down to the end so let's wrap it up it's been a good cigar the only negative I will give you this now the cigar was soft it did not feel dense we got about a little over an hour out of it but it's very soft and you can squeeze it and I don't like that but the flavors continued with that nice sweet caramel nice butteriness brown sugar the uh, other notes the cedar the citrus they all went away they all went away. You left with nothing but basically that sweet buttery caramel, which is fine. But uh, the cigar did hit medium to full bodied, which surprised me. Uh, that hit at about the final third. So that's really the good and the bad. For me, I'm rating it a 92 on flavors. The flavors are are there. There's, it's a good tasting cigar. I don't like that it, it was soft, so, but take that into consideration. <clears throat> So there you have it, the new Partigas R&R &R Robusto.